A D H D E R I C ADHD. It's in the game. So, let's go ahead and it doesn't matter which order you open them in. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open Puzzle Quest first. 2020. All right. A lot of new characters I have not seen before. Okay, and while that's loading, I'll go ahead and open Cheat Engine here. Yes. There we go. So we see that Marvel Quest is that Marvel Puzzle Quest is currently running. So we click on this, this little monitor with a magnifying glass on the inside. Click that. And it'll come up with the process list. Now, it should if you're running a game off of Steam, it'll show up in applications. Like Puzzle Quest is right there, right? But if you're running a game on Windows Store, i found, you might have to find it in the processes. For example, like Forza. I was trying to run Forza and I couldn't find it in the Applications tab, so I went to Processes, and it was there under like ForzaMotorsport.exe. Didn't have an icon or anything specific to it, it was just as a Windows process. So that's, that's how I did that. Windows, I've never really used this because, I don't know, it's just not something I've done before. But applications and processes are your best bet. So I'm going to go ahead and left click on Marvel Puzzle Quest and click open. I have a table that I saved there before. I'm not going to use it. No. Okay. So let's go ahead and continue. So let's just verify that this works properly. What I'm going to do here... So as you see, I have previously gotten 7,056 cards that I still need to claim, right? So this is how I'm going to verify that the process is attached. I'm going to search 4 bytes, which is generally the most common value, 70. 056. Go first scan. Okay, and then I'm gonna redeem one here. I should have gone down to 7055. Okay, we have two values that did that, which is good. Those are the two values we want to look at. And just to verify... Oh, nice, got Killmonger. Never had that one before. And we'll verify this should have gone down one more number. And just to verify also, if you're focusing on a specific value that you want to get, this is another fun trick. Um, see, it's 7054. If I change the screen, it should stay at that value. But if it changes, that means that value is not correct. So, see, this one changed to zero. So that means that was just a display value. That wasn't the actual value we want to modify. So now I'm gonna change it to 8054. Okay, and now when we go back, you see the number there reflects it, and that's how we know that it's attached and it's modified. And then if we change it again, it will show up differently in Cheat Engine, 8053. And again, that's the display value. I just want to caution you, this does not mean, because this says zero, if you modify this, it's not going to do anything. Like if I were to change this to 10 or something, it should just a display value. Another one I didn't have. See, it doesn't do anything. It's just, it's still the same. 
So changing that value won't really do anything for you. Um, yeah, and then we'll cover more basics in the next tutorial. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button and smash that like. You know, or don't. Either way, love you all. Peace.